this is A.O. Smith Company, ticker symbol A.O.S. Um, their stock has been up and down, and let's get after it right now. Mr. Gabriel, what is the... What is the ten billion market dollar cap? market cap? Ten billion, great. Ten billion. Uh, dividend yield of one point five percent. So to answer your question, they paid one hundred fifty eight million in dividends last year, and free cash flow was five hundred five last year. So that was very good. Uh, PE of twenty nine though, so that's an X. A little high. Profit margin twelve percent. Check mark. We like that. It needs to be over ten. Pillar number yeah. three is revenue growth over the past five years. Revenue growth. How can for... you not? How can you look at this guys and not want this? This is incredible. <laughs> like I'm so proud of this. You know, Paul, you should be because um, I did not think the website could look this marvelous. And it's still getting better. Like, we, look, Absolutely. I don't even have dollar signs that have these things. You know people, I mean? people are saying we should have little frowny faces or smiley face emojis pop up. I mean, the fact that you created this and you're not new to this, folks. I mean, Paul is co owner of a, of a dynasty owner football league, which is taking off. And the, the software for that's incredible. So I'm, I, I am proud too. I'm sure Mo and Don, the whole team is, but this looks phenomenal. And our, the patrons so far are thrilled just to be beta testing it. So keep going, Paul. Pillar number three is revenue growth. 2.7 to 2.9, check mark there. They went up a few years and fell down, but still it is a check mark nonetheless. Pillar number four is profit growth on this beautiful Everything Money website. And by the way, I would go to adventure a guess that during the shutdown, even the, do you think HVAC would have done better or worse? Mm, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. All right, profit. 326. During the shutdown? 345. Check mark. Yeah, during the shutdown. Check, I think it would be better. I mean, everybody's running it all the time. Yeah, but they didn't have money. Who didn't have money? Right, it's HVAC business. They have to, like, they're repairing and doing, they're making new HVAC units. Isn't that what they do? Mm, yeah. Um, they, they make air conditioners and heaters and all that stuff. Maybe if they were running so much, they would break, and then people might begin to go buy a new one with all their stimulus money that the president gave them. Correct. Mm -hmm. Your president. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, pillar number, are we, are we done, boys? Yeah. Pillar number, five, <laughs> pillar number five is shares outstanding. We want this going down. Is it, Paul? Again, it is going down. Uh, I don't look at this number. It's not accurate, but it is going down. Overall, it is correct still in terms of the ratio. It is going down. Pillar, Check number, mark. pillar number six is current assets over current liabilities. <laughs> Bless you. 1.4 billion. Oh, wow. Versus 805. But look at this. They have total liabilities of 1.22. So 1.4 in cash. Oh, they could pay off all their liabilities right now, right now with the current assets. That's phenomenal. That's great. It's hard for businesses to go under when they have enough cash on hand to pay off all their debts. That's incredible. It's AOS, AO Smith Company in the- um, Free cash flow. Free cash flow. Thank you, Paul. Remember guys, free cash flow used to buy, pay dividends, make, make acquisitions, buy back shares. They went from 469 to 505, check mark. But look at this. 469 was a big year relative to their past, and then it fell down here and then jumped up again. So it's very important here. This is why I like taking averages, because there might be crazy years here or there that skew it. So Seth. I got it. I got it. I got it. You have it all? I, I, yep, I got it. Divided by five. The average free cash flow was 390. So what I need to do on this site, by the way, Go on. I need to sit here and over here to the right, have it say 390 average five year. You see? That's what I need to do. I'll forget that. So 390, the company is currently a $10 billion company divided by 390 is a little bit over 25. That's an X. It's a now, smidge high, right? It's a high and... Um, Before you lose people, what, yeah. we, what we normally do, folks, is we'll take that 390, which is our, our free cash flow, and we want to multiply that by a basis we'll start around 20 for a normal growth company. This is not... Paul, would you consider this a higher growth company? No. I would not because you saw the revenue. The revenue was actually dipping in the last couple of years. It's not up a ton from the previous five years. Um, the free cash flow you can see is growing a ton, but it, it looks like it's, I don't but trust that this is a normalized year. This is not a normalized year. I mean, look at it. It goes 90, 170, 150, 170, 260, 470, 230, 360, 390. It's trending up, but I still think I still think 20 times free cash flow is ample. So at that rate, you're looking at around 7.8 billion in value. That's a 390 times 20 or 8 billion on the high side. Um, I'm not saying this is the exact price, but it's not far off. You could sell options here to go to a lower level. But again, as a value investor, I want to buy it for way less than 8 billion. Speaking of options, we'll head over to Dr. Momentum to talk about momentum trading for AOS. So this is very similar to Texas Instruments. Um, we were, there was many times throughout this year where we were over all four of our major moving averages making these um, higher areas that, to buy. So right now, we're getting into this range of, we're overbought on our stochastic. 
so all that means is just use stops when you're playing this. And if we break out, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen today based on the time. But tomorrow, if we get an engulfing candlestick like that, that will be a new 52-week high. And uh, that might be a new all-time high. I don't know. But go ahead and buy it and just keep riding the wave. This is, a, this is a nice stock, just like Texas Instruments. Thanks so much for watching the video. We hope you were intrigued. If this style of investing speaks to you, click the link below to join our Patreon. As a patron, you get access to a wonderful community of like-minded investors where you can chat, connect, ask questions, and share ideas with badasses like you all over the world. The best part is you get the amazing Everything Money software. This is revolutionary unlike any YouTube page. Yep. You can track your investments, look at stocks, and quickly run our eight pillar analysis on any company you like. Yeah. The top tier patrons get direct access to Paul and Trader Mo. You'll see their daily trades, their updated portfolios, and every options contract they write on a daily basis. We provide Patreon exclusive videos just for you, including live streams and exclusive content from our team. Our bottom patron tiers fill fast, so join today. But hey, if you don't believe me, look at all of our patrons' amazing success stories. This is your chance to get serious about investing. Yep. If you're finally ready to level up your investing game, join our Patreon and let's start kicking ass together.